I like I like the conversation happening in the chat. There, uh, there sounds like there's going to be a fight for the number one spot, which is which is always good. Well, I'm sure we'll see everyone on stage at Summit, so. We better. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this, this is being recorded, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we've got about 30 people that are joining us right now, which is awesome. Those, those numbers are phenomenal. I mean, it, it truly shows the commitment that, that South Africa has that everybody is willing to do to join us as of as of 8 o'clock at night, your time. It looks like, yeah, like I said, we're up to about 30. We've uh, Redis just popped his head in. Every <laughs> Everybody knows Redis. Uh, he wanted to make sure that he was in here for this. Um, so like I said, this this is being recorded. I'll make sure that I get the video out to everybody. I'll make sure we get it posted on our Zija Africa Facebook page um, so that everybody can see if they if they weren't able to join, if they were out doing the deal and building the business. Um, so, so let's get started. First off, I want to introduce myself. So my name is Matt Gardner. Um, I am the regional sales manager over the Western United States and Canada. Uh, I do handle a lot of the back office, the customer service, um, and things like that. So I wanted to make sure I got on so that we could get you some training that, that the leaders have requested over in South Africa. I know, I know Jerem, our vice president of sales, was out there. He spoke with, with a number of the leaders and a number of you, you guys individually, and he wanted to make sure that you guys got the training that you requested. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold this webinar. We'll hold it every week. For the next four weeks um, and we will make sure that that we get you guys the training you need so as you have topics and questions that you would like us to cover feel free to submit them um, you guys can send them over to Erica you can send them over to myself my email is posted in this webinar um, and I'll make sure that we add them to the docket so as I mentioned earlier um, we are joined by Erica Erica is the the regional specialist um, and one of the countries that she covers is South Africa so she knows everything, operations, logistics, um, as far as getting all the product into South Africa and making sure that we're continuing to process in that country how we should. Um, so she is going to cover a little bit of the topics. Um, later on, she'll cover one of the topics. But overall, you get to hear from me, and hopefully that's exciting to most of you. Um, I know most of you haven't met me, haven't seen me, really haven't heard of me. But throughout this webinar, you'll get to know me, and I hope that, that you'll learn some stuff. So as I mentioned before, there is a chat box. Make sure that you guys are asking your questions in there. We'll do a little Q&A at the end. Um, I'll have Erica jump on. I'll have Redis jump in, and we can answer any questions that you have. We'll dedicate five to ten minutes to that just to make sure that we get everything answered and any questions that you guys need. So let's get started. Um, first and foremost, what I want to talk about is getting you guys into the back office. I know that that has been a big question as to how do you log into the back office? And the answer, the answer to that, I'm gonna share my screen so that you can see it. So bear with me for just one second while I while I pull it up. All right. So what everybody's gonna see right here, this is the back office that you're seeing. Um, this is already logged in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to show you the login screen as to where you would go. Use your existing ID number, but put an additional one in front of it. So we added one more number to differentiate so that we know that it's a Zango ID number, but we kept it as the same for you guys. So when you log in, you put your ID number right here in the distributor ID box. What this is going to do is it's going to let you log in. It's going to let you get to your back office. Now, we've had a lot of questions on passwords. Passwords were, were sent out, but a lot of people either don't have emails, didn't get the email, whatever it might be. Um, everybody on this webinar, I'll make sure we send an email with the correct phone numbers that you guys can call to get logged in if you don't have an email address so that we can reset that password for you so that we make sure that we're getting it out to you. Um, if you do have an email and the password that you're trying isn't working, there's a, there's a link right here. It says forgot password. If you click on that forgot password link, it's going to ask you to enter your username in the field below. Now, this verification code, what it's showing is it's just saying add two plus three. So you put five in there and you hit enter. So it'll give you random numbers. It won't necessarily always be two plus three, but it is that equation. So if you add the two plus three, all you need to put is five for the verification code and your user ID number. And we can make sure that that gets you logged in. Okay, so 
what's next? After you've logged in, I'm going to switch back over to this page so that you can see us logged in right now. Um, sorry, that's my, my admin side. I'm making sure that I function. So this is a test account, but it's an account that will look exactly like yours when you log in. The next, the biggest, the next biggest question we got after we log in is how do we place an order? How do we become active? What are the requirements? The answer to that is simple. In South Africa, we have active 40. So you need 40 PV to be active. You can see on this account, it's showing active 40. Um, as you look right here and you click on my orders, there are four options. There's my auto ship order, my subscriptions, order history, and place a personal order. When you place your initial order, you can place it through place a personal order. So as I click on that, it's going to launch up the, the shopping cart, which is where you buy um, whatever you want your initial order to be. So we have all the products. We have the Zango products. We have Zija products. We have systems that are a mixture of both. I would absolutely recommend the systems that are a mixture of both because that's going to get you exposed to the most amount of product as possible. So in this example, you see right here, we've got a case of juice, and then we have a, starter, a South Africa starter system. This is going to include four bottles of the Zango juice, which is a full case, three cases of Supermix, some of the essential oils, and a, a bottle so that you can actually drink the mix. So let's say this is the kit that you want to add. You can see this is 500 PV, and it's 8,140 rand. Now, the important thing to note is the price displayed right there does not include the taxes. So as we proceed to this next step, so we added it to the cart, we click Proceed to Checkout, it'll take us to the next stage where it's going to show where do you want to ship it to. So once again, I'll use this, this address that we have. It's a fake address, but you'll see it is going to South Africa. So it's going to help us calculate everything. We click ship to this address. This option will be in all of your back offices. So I'm going to back one screen as I want to talk about what was on that last screen. I went ahead too quick. So you click ship on this address. If you want to ship it to another address, you go down here where it says enter a new shipping address. Fill all the information out. South Africa is going to stay there because you're shipping it to South Africa. Um, so now you'll click ship to this address, and it's going to move us forward. We'll, we'll end up on the page that we were just at. So what you can see right here is, as you can see, you can, there's the payment option. So you say select your preferred payment method, and you have a few options. So right now you have direct deposit. The direct deposit option is actually not going to be there in a few days, and that's because we're transitioning fully over to e-wallet and credit card. E-wallet functions the same way essentially as direct deposit does, but e-wallet's faster for you guys. So we want to, our, our whole goal here is to make it as easy for you as possible. And so say we want to pay with a credit card because there are no e-wallet funds right now. Um, e-wallet is what Erica is going to go over towards the end of the webinar. Um, so we'll come back to that option. So we have credit cards. So say this is the credit card we're using. It's a test card that we have here. We'll click continue. The continue is going to take us on to the next page where you're going to review your order. It's going to show you everything. So you're shipping to South Africa, and right here is where it's important to see. So when there are taxes or VAT taxes, you'll see they'll show right here. Because we're shipping it to a fake address, obviously the taxes are not going to populate, but they will populate for you guys. So the important thing to notice before you place the order is the order total right here. So you'll see it's adding 110 to the order. Now, 110 is the price in South Africa. In Botswana, um, I know it's 12 US dollars, and we charge in US dollars in Botswana. So taxes for you guys, the easiest way to figure it out, South Africa, it's going to be 14% of the order. And then Botswana, it's going to be 10% of the order. So that's a, it's a good rule. It's a good rule of thumb to function on to know that that's going to be the general amount of tax that's added to your order. So once you have your order, your grand total here, you know how much you need to pay for. All you click is you click place your order. Let me see. Okay. Erica, Erica gave me a correction. I spoke, I spoke wrong. All of the kits that we have have the VAT taxes included in them. So the most important thing to note, if you're buying a kit, you have the VAT taxes. If you're buying individual product, such as a case of juice, that's when the VAT taxes are going to be added back in. So appreciate Erica correcting me on that function. So now that we've placed our order, this is what the screen you're going to see. Um, in that screen, it's going to show you all of the information, and it's going to give you your confirmation number. 
Your confirmation number will populate in your back office in your order history, and it'll show all of the orders that you placed, how much you paid for them. To see that, you go right here to order history. All of these options are under the My Orders in your back office. And you'll see, today's the 14th of June, we just placed this order. Um, Rob asked the question, is shipping not free in the, in the kit orders? Hey Eric. Rob, let me jump in on that. Um, shipping is included when it is an initial order. However, Matt was just placing a personal order, so on personal orders, shipping is always charged. Perfect. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the best answer. I, I lean on Erica because, you know, she, she set up how it functions over there. So, um, so what you'll see is, is now that the shipping is, the, the shipping in initial order is free, not free when it's a repeat order, which is what I just did. Um, when you load up the order history, which is what we just placed, you'll see it was shipped here. You'll see here's the credit card, and then down here it shows what you actually ordered. The grand total, it'll give you a breakdown um, and how much you paid. So let me, let me go back one invoice. Me and Erica placed an invoice earlier for just juice, and I can show you what it looks like. So down here you'll see this is where it's populated. So the total amount of volume is right there, the 65 volume. It'll give you the subtotal of 770, the shipping of 110, the taxes right here are the VAT taxes, the 170.80 for a grand total of the 987.80. This is what you'll see if you ever have any questions, how much you paid, how much taxes you paid, how much shipping you paid. Always refer back to your order history. It'll give you, it'll even give you a copy of the invoice if you load it up, which load it on a different screen for me. So. There we go. Um, so it, it'll show you the invoice. So after we've covered how to set up an order, let's talk about auto ships. Auto ships are the questions that a lot of people have. We call them Zetra Rewards Purchases. Um, in Zango, they were called ADPs to make sure we're all on the same page with three different acronyms. Um, what you'll do is this account you can see. Let's see. So, so Harris said, um, the prices are VAT inclusive, but we've been paying sales taxes added to the VAT. Um, so the VAT taxes are only included in the kits. If you've been ordering individual products a la carte, those VAT taxes are not included. And also, let me jump in very quickly on that, Matt, just to specify a little bit. So we consider our kits our systems. If you buy a pack, for example, we have three special packs available for South Africa. They are called the Basic Pack, Starter Pack, and Builder Pack. Or if you buy single products, yes, the VAT will be divided. But on the systems, it is included. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for covering that. That, I think, answered that question perfectly. Um, so so we'll, we'll come back to the auto ships. So you'll see this account already has an auto ship set up. If you ever have any questions about the auto ship, what, what you're on, how much you're going to pay, always default to the My Auto Ship Order portion on the My Orders. So you'll see right here, our next auto ship is set to go out the 31st of May. The cost is going to be $4,122.80. It's going to be 12.5 pounds. Here's where it's going to ship. You'll see down here, it's the Starter Pack Africa. So we have that on our auto ship right now. If we wanted to create a new auto ship, you'd click right there. What I'm going to do is I want to show you how to edit your auto ship because it's going to be the same process that you'll see. So if you click edit auto ship, maybe you decide you have enough starter packs. Maybe you want to get a little more Zija products. Maybe you want to get a little more Zango products. Whatever you decide, you'll go down here and you can see you have your auto ship products that you can, that you'll see below. So as, as it's loading up, we can scroll down and this is going to give us every single product that you have the option to purchase. So we have a lot of essential oils in there. Um, we have uh, all of the Zalo products in there. We've got some of the Aries products as well. All of the products available in Africa are going to show in here. So maybe you decide it's time that I'm just on one, one case of juice. Um, I want to get off the, the product that I'm on. Or maybe you just want to add one case of juice. I'll do that. So you'll see it's set right here. This is the order date. So you want to make sure this is 28 days ahead of your last order. So if we placed an order today, which was the 14th of June, we would want to move our auto ship to period 116 cycle three. That's going to push us out a month because we're considered active because we just placed an order. We'd scroll all the way to the bottom. 
you confirm that you're using the product or selling it. Um, choose your payment method. So you can choose e-wallet, which like I said, Eric will go over later. But we'll just say we're going to choose credit card. We're going to use this credit card that we already have on file. We set our auto ship order. So this is going to, it'll confirm, it'll update our auto ship. And once it goes back, you'll see it says, here's your auto ship update. Your previous auto ship date was the 31st of May. Your new auto ship date is the 10th of July. You now have one Zango Juice, one Starter Pack Africa. It's going to display on this screen in U.S. currency, but you can always refer back to the cost right here where it shows in your local currency. So those are auto ships. You can always order product every 28 days. It's important to note the auto ship is for ease. It's you know the same function as it was in Zango. Um, you can change it. You can move it out. However you want to do it, you can manage all of that through your back office. So the last, the last thing that I'm going to cover before I let Erica take over is it's going to be enrollments. A lot of people have asked, how do I enroll someone through the back office? How do I start new business partners up um, so that they can get started? The answer is going to be right here. It's in View My Team. So you'll go down. You click on Enroll. It's going to take you to a totally separate screen which will show you where you can enroll. Now, the interesting portion about this enrollment is it's going to show you the same screen twice. But I want to make sure that you know we still we still show you what what you can see. So if we click on, um, sorry, it's loading up for me still. It's taking just a minute. Um, we'll function with just Zija products right now, um, just because it's taking a minute to load up. So say you want to buy a, a kit with oils. We'll, we'll say this basic nine kit, if that's what they want to enroll on. You click add to cart. You're going to scroll all the way up to the top. And I am missing an option. Sorry, it's just one second. I apologize. It's taken a second to load the banner for me. Okay, just one second, guys. I apologize. I'm gonna I'm gonna log out and log back in because for some reason the the banner isn't populating for me. While I'm doing that, I did. Uh, Janice had a question. She said, "Please confirm details on the payment of shipping of the initial order. We pay shipping, and also if you place a personal order." So I'll let Erica, Erica, if you wouldn't mind hitting on that question while I'm loading this up. Yeah, absolutely. I think the best way to show it to you guys is to actually, once I start talking about e-wallet, I'll show you a personal order and an enrollment, and I'll show you when you get charged shipping and when you don't in real time. Because I can show you and tell you the rules as much as I want, but you know we're doing this visually, so I'll actually show you the difference of when you get charged shipping and when you don't, so you guys have a visual guide of okay, this gives me free shipping, this doesn't. Yeah, perfect, and that's that's great. So what uh what I'm actually going to do right now, Erica, while I'm while I'm having some technical issues with the enrollment process, let me default back to you, and why don't you? I'll give you access and you can you can cover um, e-wallet and all of the portion that you were going to cover and we'll come back to doing the enrollment. Absolutely, that sounds good to me. I uh, will go to our test account so we can start looking at things. And that kind of sounds like some issues that in Africa they may be having, right? The connection is not the best, so sometimes the right part of the website doesn't load and they have a little bit of a few, you know, a few issues. And sometimes just closing the website and reopening it again works. Sometimes it doesn't. And the reason why it actually doesn't work, I believe, for us right now is because we have a retail customer that we have been using and not a distributor. So I'll update it right now. Absolutely. <laughs> and that will get it out of the way, right? It, it absolutely should. And I'll, uh, I'll make sure that I log <laughs> back in.
<laughs> there you go. That should have been updated. I'll recheck the page. Now our test account should be a distributor. Yep, you're good to go now. We should be able to do everything. Perfect. But I'll I'm share my and log in and log back out, but I'll let her cover her portion and we'll make sure we come back. So I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. hide my camera and I'll let Erica take over. Thank you so much, Matt. Okay, perfect. I will be sharing my screen. Okay, there we go. Everybody should be able to see my screen right now. And I am in the same back office as Matt was using. So I wanted to cover with you guys the order process as it pertains to e-wallet. Now, when you have an e-wallet account, you can place orders, you can transfer funds to your people, and so on. It makes things very, very simple, and I'll be using a special type of account for that. Now, we have, this is the back office for e-wallet. As soon as you log in, this is what you're going to see. It will show you your available e-wallet balance right here. And with this balance, you can do anything you would want. So at the top, you can choose to transfer funds to somebody else. And when you click on it, you can look up another distributor's ID number. And once that's found, you can send them some money. You can do a cash out request. And that means simply sending the money you have on e-wallet to your bank account. And as it says here, there is a minimum and a maximum you can send per transaction. You can look up your transaction history and you can manage your account. Now, the great thing about eWallet and you guys is that you know the system already. So I don't need as much to show you how the back office for eWallet works. I just need to show you how it works for Zija to place an order using eWallet. So we'll sign into my test account right here. There we go. And I'll both try to place an order and I'll show you the auto ship as well. And then we'll go through the enrollment to show you free shipping and whatnot. Now, actually my account is in the US. As you see, we have the new shopping cart for the US. So I will go and change that very quickly. And then we'll be able to place an order in South Africa. Perfect. Now I updated that information and we'll go back to it. Here it is. So we'll go to place a personal order and we are in the South Africa card. We'll choose Xengo and we will choose one case of juice, the most popular product and probably what everybody wants to see right now. I'll click on proceed to checkout. It's showing me the total and the PD. No tax because the tax is shown at checkout, but as Matt said, it's always 14% regarding of the product you're choosing, regardless of the product you're choosing. I'll put in my address right here, which is a fake address again, but it has South Africa as the country, which is what matters. Okay, so right now it will choose me, it will ask me to choose a payment method and we're going to choose e-wallet. Now, as you are seeing, this is an amount in rent, but in the e-wallet back office that we were looking at before, let me go back to the home, it shows you the dollar amount. We're working on fixing that, so you'll be able to see the rent sign, but just keep in mind that this is an amount in rent and not in US dollars. Okay, so I chose e-wallet, and I'm going to click on pay with e-wallet right now and it will take me to the checkout page. Now the checkout page will show me a recap of everything, my shipping address, the shipping selection, my product, and here a grand total. This is the grand total for a case of juice, both for wholesale and retail. All our product prices are the same for wholesale and retail. Once I click on place your order, It will return a confirmation number to us, which is an invoice right here at the top. And the money will be taken out of your e-wallet account. Now, 
let's say that you want to put money into your e-wallet instead. What you need to do is make a deposit into our bank account. Now, Xango had a bank account, and if you have the information of that bank account, you can keep using it. However, Zija also has a bank account that we definitely recommend you using because it's the one, of course, that we've worked with for, a long, for the longest time. And I'm going to put the details for that bank account on the chat. I'm going to quickly write them right here. It's Zija, South Africa. Standard Bank. The account number is 37063258383. The branch code is 015841. And the branch is Key West branch. Now Oops, I just sent it to Matt. Look at that. I will send it to all of you so everybody can see it. There we go. You can make a deposit there or in the Xango bank account. Both ways will get your deposit information to us, so nothing will be lost. Don't worry about that. And once we receive the deposit, what we will do is we will add the money to your e-wallet account. So make sure that when you make the deposit, you list your Zija ID number so we know who the money is for. That makes the process much faster and much more efficient. Now, let's say that you want to pay for your auto ship order via e-wallet. And after I'm done with that, we'll also ask some questions. Yep, I see there are a few ones, so absolutely. Now, let's say that you want to pay for your auto ship order via e-wallet. So let's go and fix that up. You will click, actually, look at that. It's already selected right here, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. You'll see a recap of all your information. And if you want to change the payment method, you'll click on Edit Auto Ship. And it will bring you to the page where you can change the date, you can change the product, and you can change the payment method. So we'll scroll down to the bottom and go through all the product. And there you go. On the payment method right here, you can choose credit card or you can choose e-wallet. It will confirm that you're paying with e-wallet. And then you just need to click on this little button to confirm you are using the product or selling it. And your auto ship order will be set. So this is very simple. Oh, look at that. And it pops up with an error because I chose a date that is in the past. I chose Monday of the week from the 10th to the 16th, which was two days ago, which is not good. So the back office will always tell you if something is not right and it will not confirm the data unless you correct it, which is very good because oftentimes it happens that we forgot a little bit somewhere. So let's go again. Let's choose e-wallet. Let's confirm here. And let's set up the allergy order. Now, after this, the last thing I will do is I will go through the enrollment process to show you, there you go, it shows you an update of your auto ship data that you can close. I will go through the enrollment process just to quickly show you how that works for the shipping. So we'll choose two different things. We'll try to choose just a case of choose, and we'll try to choose a system and see what the difference is. And we'll go through that very quickly because all of you guys know how the enrollment process works, but we'll look at all the passages. Okay, so this is the step one. How would you like to enroll? Let's choose a wholesale member because we want to grow the business and make a lot of money. Now on the left, we'll choose Xango. And the Xango products that will come up, first of all, are the packs right here and the system. And the juice will be right here. Now it's showing with the black bottle and we are fixing that but I'm going to add it to the cart. And I'm going to click on top of the cart and click continue to enrollment. It will take us to a secure page where you can follow up with the enrollment, which is the page that Matt wasn't able to show us before. In this page, 
it's still the initial product selection, so it's a recap page for you. It Barbara, will show. I'm gonna I'm gonna interrupt you for just a second because as I was as I was off and you were talking, I figured out what the issue was, and I, I feel like it's important to hit on. Um, but one of one of the reasons that that happened, guys, is because I was using a browser that had it wasn't necessarily fully compatible with the back office, which oftentimes people will have issues with. So I was using Safari because I'm a Mac fan. Um, and some of the features that are programmed in, Safari actually has a hard time with. So when I switched over to Google Chrome, it worked fully. So oftentimes if you guys have issues where something's not loading, a feature isn't there, um, whatever it is, try and switch browsers. Our, our back office works the best with Google Chrome. And that would be something that I would recommend everybody download, everybody use, because all of the features are going to be there. Because you guys witnessed exactly what happens when I use Safari and it wasn't necessarily fully supported. Well, that's great to know, actually. That's awesome information. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Okay, so we are in Google Chrome, in my case. So everything is working great. We have a recap page. The card still shows the Xengo juice, so if we don't want to change anything, we can just move on to the next. But here we have a last chance to change the enrollment product, right? Let's see that after we selected that and we went forward, we just figured out, oh my gosh, I also want something else. I just, I don't want just the juice. But for now, I'm okay with the juice. I love it. So I'm going to move to the other ship selection. Now, for the other ship selection, I'm also going to go for a case of juice to keep me to keep me stocked month after month. We're going to look it up. There it is, index single cart. And I'm going to choose my date as well. Tuesday, 11th of July is fine for me. So I'm going to proceed to step four. And step four is the personal information. So I'm going to put my info here. You'll see that some fields are mandatory and some are not. So I can just move to the ones that are mandatory, such as the address. There we go. And that auto fills for me. As you can see, we've been doing this test account enrollments a lot. You'll click on this button if the address for your mailing and for your shipping is the same. As far as contact information goes, I'll just put some zeros here. You see that the email is not mandatory. However, if you want to sign up for Paylution, an email is necessary, for example. So keep that in mind. I'll choose my username, which will do fake account and that password. And then we'll proceed to checkout. If there's any error, the back office will let me know. But no, everything was great. So it took me to the summary page for my enrollment. The first thing it recaps is my enrollment order. So one case of Xengo juice. It's going to list everything, PV, subtotal, shipping, weight. And here you can see that we just ordered a case of juice and it did charge the shipping because it's not a system. It will show you the total. And it will recap your order ship. It is set to process on July 11th for one case of juice. It will ask you to agree to our terms and, terms and privacy policy. We do recommend that you read everything before you say yes. Most of these are pretty standard and common across multi-level marketing companies, you know, policies and procedures, and the privacy policy you've probably seen in other websites as well. However, always have your customers give it a look. Then you will choose your payment method. You can choose e-wallet, you can choose credit card, however you see fit. And once you're ready, you'll click on submit payment information and you receive a confirmation email on your, well, your customer will receive a confirmation email with their data. Um, they will get here a recap of their information across an invoice number for the order they just processed and so on. Um, but let's see how would an enrollment work very quickly if I chose a system instead. So I'll go through the steps very fast because we just saw them one by one. I'll simply just choose that instead. 
Okay, so I'll enroll as a wholesale member. I'll choose my products. I'll go to Xango. And I'll choose one of these right here. I'll choose the starter system. Remember that the 500 PV pack on enrollment qualifies you to get 12 cycles of fast start, of double fast start commission. So whenever you're enrolling someone, always try to go for that 500 PV one. So I'm going forward. I'm proceeding to the other ship. I'm going to choose one case of Supermix for my other ship. Awesome product. I'm going to proceed to step four. In step four, I'll just autofill the same information I gave again, and that will be very quick. Sometimes the system is not as quick as our brains are. We're just thinking ahead of the enrollment information and everything, but we will get there. There we go. Okay, so. always pay attention that the information is correct. We're not actually creating an account, but in your case, you definitely are going to. Okay, we're proceeding to checkout. Let's look at the shipping right here. Okay, you can see that we chose a kit and shipping is zero. Everything as before, it gives you a recap of all the information and then you can choose your payment method as always. Keep in mind that if you do have an auto ship and you select a credit card to place your initial order, it will use that credit card for the auto ship as well. Of course, if then you wanna change it, you can simply go to your auto ship template and choose e-wallet for example. And this is pretty much what I wanted to go through. Um, e-wallet is a very easy process. All of you have, all of you are used to using it in South Africa, but we'll make sure that we make tutorials available as well. We are creating documents that we can make available in the back office for you to explain how the e-wallet payments work, how you can transfer funds to other people, and so on. And that will help a lot for everybody. Now, let me check the chat for questions. I think I think so far so far we've answered most of the questions. I've I've gone through and answered some of the questions privately for everybody, um, okay. and I you know I'll make sure that we go through and if if there are questions that need to be answered that we shoot you guys some emails. Um, I think I think at this point, guys, what we'll do is is we'll open it up for about five minutes, um, and if anybody else has any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. Feel free to drop them in the question box. We'll make sure we get them answered now because we are limiting it to five minutes, because I want to make sure that this webinar sticks to the 30, 35 minutes, um, which looks like we're a little bit over that already. Um, but I do want to give you guys a chance to ask some questions. So as you have questions, go ahead and message them over, and we'll make sure we answer them for about the next five minutes. And then what we'll do is you can email me, you can email Erica, you can email Redis, and we'll make sure that we get your questions answered. So let's see. Well, it looks like it looks like nobody's asking questions, and I hope that's a good thing. I hope that means we've covered everything that that everybody has answered. I know I learned a lot from Erica's training on eWallet. Hopefully, you guys learned a lot on the basics of where to sign in using your Zango ID number as your user ID by putting a one in front of it. If you don't have an email, we'll make sure we send out the customer service phone numbers. 
And then how you guys can place orders, set up your auto ships, enroll, and once again, the e-wallet. So we appreciate everybody joining us. Like I said before, we'll make sure that this training is available on the Zija Africa page. We have been recording this. Um, as you guys have questions, uh, let us know. Overall, thanks for taking the time out of your evening to join us, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, everyone, for being here. It was great to show you some tools and just be able to spend some time talking about Zija and Sango both. All right, guys. Well, thanks, and have a good evening, and we'll see you next time.